Tango. Bro, it's too hot for coffee. What? What are you doing, man? Watch. Now. You ready? Your coffee. Oh! Blood of Jesus! Whoa! Blood of Jesus! What would happen if TikTok is banned in Africa? That is what we'll discuss today on Green Click. By the way, be a friend and subscribe, click the notification button to get alerts, and like the video to help us make more videos you love about our amazing continent. Let's dive in. If you are watching this, you are definitely into social media, and I do not believe I have to explain TikTok. But just in case you have no idea what TikTok is, TikTok is a video sharing social media app consisting of over 800 million users. If you scroll through the app, you will see 3 to 60 second videos of people dancing, lip syncing and just doing random funny stuff. It was developed by a Chinese based company named ByteDance. Initially developed in 2016, this app quickly grew to stardom over the next 3 years, mainly attracting teenagers. Most of its users range between the ages of 13 to 24. So if you are over 30 years old and you do not use TikTok, do not feel alone. But recently, TikTok has hit a roadblock that may derail the app for good. In recent times, some countries have banned TikTok like India, while other countries like Pakistan have labeled the app as immoral. But no impending roadblock is as big as America's threat to the app. President Donald Trump has threatened to ban the app on September the 15th due to the platform's potential harmful use of data acquired from users. As a response, Microsoft is trying to acquire this app, which may save its use in America. Though these nations see the app as a hindrance, Africa does not seem to have any issues with the fast-growing app. In fact, TikTok has been acquiring artists and comedians from African countries in a bid to gain more popularity than the big boys Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. Currently, users can even make a bit of change using this app, like South African user Wian van der Berg, a street magician who has made up to $28,000. As TikTok is popular among teens, it makes sense that the company behind this would want to establish itself on the continent with the highest number of youth in the world. So with all that said, what if an event transpired which resulted in Africa as a continent banning TikTok? First, let's look at how this could even be possible. TikTok has come under fire for its weaknesses in cybersecurity. There have been claims that hackers are able to modify what you view on TikTok. Another issue with TikTok is the occurrence of cyberbullying, but that happens on all social media platforms. Also, African nations could see data collection as a security issue and ban the video sharing app just to protect its people. However, with China's strong ties to Africa, all these may never even become a thing. So if TikTok was banned in Africa, it would not affect Africa as a whole. We would still have Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat and the biggest social media app in Africa, the almighty WhatsApp. However, a ban would be very bad news for ByteDance. First of all, TikTok would lose millions of users in an instance. ByteDance has spent a good part of the last year recruiting African talents to further grow their influence over the continent, particularly in countries like Kenya, Nigeria, and South Africa. Its result, you can say, is paying off well as TikTok uses a powerful algorithm to unite more localized talent. For example, if you're a Zambian using TikTok, most of your video suggestions will be dominated by Zambian users closer to you, unlike Instagram that would suggest what you searched for. This in turn will give a TikTok user more followers than other platforms. If we're talking about being dedicated to African countries, TikTok donated millions of dollars to Africa to help fight COVID-19. With all its work, clearly the company sees Africa as a potential gold mine in the future, and being banned will take a big toll, but not a critical one. However, as stated earlier, the chances of Africa banning TikTok is pretty small. So if you are an avid user that spends more than two hours a day on TikTok, keep on dancing, friend. So do you use the app? And what are your thoughts on the app being banned in Africa if it ever happens? Indulge us with comments below, we'd love to hear your story on this. If you'd like to be informed when we roll out new videos, give us a like to help us with the YouTube algorithm, share this with a friend and drop a comment if you disagree or would like to request a video. Till then brothers and sisters, have a lovely day.